And good afternoon, everybody. Hello and welcome. Hopefully you can hear me and see me okay. Had a number of technical issues in the last 10 minutes. So uh, yeah, hopefully everything is going out fine. Um, yeah, let me know in the chat if you can hear me and see me okay. And good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining me. So my name is Paul Grogan. And this afternoon, I'm going to be doing something uh, which I've done a lot of in the last couple of weeks, actually. I've invited a designer of a game on to teach me how to play their game using Tabletop Simulator. Um, and today's no exception. And I'm joined today by Mr. David Thompson. Say hello, David. Is it working? I can see David. I don't know if he can hear me. Hey, um, hey how are you? Sorry about I'm that. I'm doing good. <laughs> you forgot to unmute yourself. It's a common thing. Um, yeah. So, Europe Divided. Uh, give us a quick introduction to what the game is. Yeah, hold on one second. I am yep. getting the recording and you live. I'm trying to turn that off. Okay. Sorry, one second. That's all right. Okay. You must have, yeah, had, there we go. I, I had it on my Twitter page. I was like, where is that coming from? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so, so a little behind the scenes tomfoolery there. Uh, yeah, so an intro to Europe Divided. So uh, this game is uh, essentially represents the sort of uh, post-Cold War influence conflict between Russia and Western Europe. So when mm -hmm. we talk of Western Europe, we're really talking the combination of NATO and the European Union. And so you can kind of think of um, just as the Cold War ended, you know, there was a huge period of uh, expansionism between NATO and, and the EU, yep. where they went into a lot of Central and Eastern Europe. And there was a period where Russia was largely quiet. And then starting in about the mid-2000s, Russia became uh, essentially resurgent, right? And so this right, game yeah. captures that political battle. Right, okay. And it's a two-player game. Two players, um, exclusively two players. That's yeah. Right. Now, I, I remember when I first started hearing about this game, there was a couple of things about it that made me sort of look at it and think, oh, that looks like the kind of game that, you know, I would like. However, I'll be honest with you, there's about 100 games that are on that list at any one time. So, mm. I, you know, I don't have the time to look into them. And then I saw a post from uh, Chris Marling, the other designer of this, uh, I think last week about it, it was on Tabletop Simulator, at which point I thought, oh, and came up with the idea that, you know, you could teach me how to play and I'll actually get a chance to see it. Now, the game itself was on Kickstarter. And I think you said earlier on that some people in Europe have got the game, but not quite in America. Yeah, I can't. I don't know exactly what the distribution situation is in Europe right now. I think it's available. Okay. Uh, in the US, I know it, there's, it's it's the distribution of the game has been in, impacted by COVID-19. So right. a lot of the main online stores are still in pre-order. Yeah, right. Okay. So there you go. Right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much to everybody for joining us this afternoon. Just to let you know, as I say, I have had some technical issues today. If the stream freezes at any point and the software crashes, just bear with us a minute. I can reboot it and come back in. You don't need a different link. We'll just pick up from where we left off. But cross fingers, all of those issues are out of the way. Um, and yeah, David's going to teach me how to play today. And what I've asked him to do is rather than just dump all of the rules on me first and then we'll play, is this is going to be a learning game. So we're going to start playing well, as soon as we can, really. And I'm more than happy to just to, just to pick it up as we go along. Um, but yeah, so over to you, sir. Okay, yeah, so I, the only thing I'll, you know, we'll start, we'll try to get into as quickly as possible. I'll just tell you, you know, how do you win and what are the main things you do to do that, right? Yeah. So obviously you win by having those victory points. You can see the victory point track here. Okay, um, yeah. We'll play over 20 turns. The turn track is up here. Right. So at the end of those 20 turns, whoever has the most victory points wins. There's okay. two main ways to get victory points. One is to have influence, your, be dominant in influence in a country. So all these dice that we have uh, represent your yep. influence. And so okay. you have to uh, juggle having both NATO and EU influence right. in these countries where Russia just has to have their own influence. Russia. So the, uh, the little stars here represent the number six. If you get up to the number six in a country, that means you have dominance and... Okay. At the end of turn 10 and at the end of turn 20, we are going to get one victory point for each location where you are dominant. And only one of us right. can be dominant in a country at a time. So if I have six influence in Poland, you cannot. You can have up to five, but you cannot have six. Right. So even if you've got, even if I've got five, if you've got six, you're still dominant. That's right. Yep. Right. So okay. whoever has, and, and you only are dominant if you have six. So you don't score right. if you have the most, you only score if you have six. Okay, and scoring so only we'll, happens at the end of rounds 10 and 20. That's correct. For that. Yep. Okay, 
gotcha. for that. Yep. Okay, so that's one of the main ways. The other main way is through these headline cards. And throughout the game, you may hear me accidentally refer to them as events because that's what they were throughout the entire design of the game. <laughs> yeah. But they're headlines. So, um, so what these, just briefly, you'll see the conditions that have to be true. Mm -hmm. If those are conditions are met, and we'll talk about you know when that happens, etc., this is the reward you get. For the most part, these are victory point awards. Every card has a victory point award. Yes. Uh, some of them also have an economic award. And when we get to an example of that, I'll, I'll talk about it. But okay. just, we'll, we'll, these events will come out. They'll be in the forthcoming track. They'll move to current. At the end of the turn, when they are in the current status, we'll check them. We'll see if the condition is true. And if that condition is true, you score those points immediately. Right. So those are really the only two ways. There's one other super incidental way to score victory points, but uh, like I said, it happens sort of throughout the course of the play, and it's sure. a very small amount. So. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, so with that, uh, well, let's just go ahead and do the last bit of setup. So setup is, you know, you've got all your pieces down here. Yeah. Like I said, these represent your influence. Uh, these two tokens are if one of us controls the Black or the Baltic Sea, we would play our little ship there. Uh, okay. We control it by having the most influence in the neighboring country. So right. whoever has the most influence in the Eastern Balkans, Ukraine and Georgia would place a ship there. And then the reverse is true here for Poland and the Baltics. Right. Okay. Uh, by having influence in a C, you get the C card and it's just a small persistent bonus that one of us gets. Okay. Um, okay. So those are your ship components. These are your armies. Europe starts with a lot of armies already on the board. Russia yep. doesn't have many. Uh, but we both have 15 total, and that is a max. You can never go above 15. Right. Okay. Um, you have your starting action deck. These are the yep. cards you're going to be playing each turn. We'll draw four, and we'll play two on each turn. And I'll talk about that more in more detail as we start. Okay. Uh, advantage cards are a special uh, thing that we each have. I'll talk about those last. These are your contested country cards. So these look exactly like your starting countries. Okay. Uh, except you will gain these as we go into these countries and gain influence. They'll be right. mixed into your deck. Generally speaking, these are worse than your starting deck. So as you gain influence, you'll be oh, adding right. to your deck, but diluting your deck. In Interesting. Because yeah, most deck builders work the other way around, don't they? Exactly. Yeah. So there's, right. there's a huge tension of uh, you want to expand because you need victory points. Yeah. But by expanding too much, you're going to dilute your deck with weaker okay. cards. And then uh, remind me, Europe has an extra complication with that too, and we'll talk about that later. Okay. Uh, money is money, so you'll be spending money to take actions throughout the game. Again, I'll yep. describe that in, in more detail. And that's sort of the the the, the you know high level version. The, the okay. only thing we have to do to finish that up is set these headline cards up. So there right. are two periods. The New World Order is you know essentially ninety two to two thousand eight, and then there's yep. a second period. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of things real quick to set this up. So I'm going to shuffle the Europe side, and we're going to put one of their cards in the forthcoming. Okay. We're going to remove four from the game. We'll never see these. Right. And we'll do the same for Russia. Okay. And now... Yep. Yep. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, I can't delete them because you've got it. Okay, so, so they yeah, can you go. can delete them. Now we're going to shuffle these, and uh, we'll each get three to start the game with. Now, I would recommend these are huge, right? So once you've sort of looked at your cards and, oh, you need to take your own. Sorry. Can I put so them in hand? Yeah, you can put them in hand for now. My recommendation is once we get started, you'll probably put them aside outside of your hand. Okay. Uh, just because they're so big. But, but yeah, you can take them into hand and look right. at them. Now, I'm actually sharing my screen with you over Skype at the moment. So if you can promise not to look. Yeah, I, I've got okay. um, tabletop <laughs> simulator for max window. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, thank you for people joining us in the chat. Board games, not boring games is in. Uh, Matt's in, uh, Graham's here, Winston is here, and obviously Chris is here as well. Frodo's here. Yeah, thank you very much for, for joining us this afternoon. I'm glad that um, uh, board games, not boring games is in, because I think I was talking to you about Twilight wasn't I, or am I getting mixed up with somebody else? I might be getting mixed up with somebody else. Because um, there's a definite Twilight struggle feel coming from this. Yeah, as far as the theme, I mean, clearly, right? Like yeah. it's, you know, Twilight struggles Cold War. This is post Cold War. Clearly, there's, you know, vi you're vying for influence. I think mechanically, like how the game resolves is is extremely different. But okay, there's definitely right. a thematic 
uh, linkage between the two. Right. Okay. And if you could delete these out for us, these ones, yeah, okay. and everything up. Oh. So what I've done is I've taken out cards from each of the two periods. Uh, yep. I've don't, whatever you do, you don't shuffle this deck because it's, it's deck one. On I top will of not deck. shuffle that deck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what what we now have is everything is set up. Yeah. In your hand, you've got your three headline cards. I okay? do. Now you are Europe. For you to score victory points, you need to have a green headline card in play. So you okay. will score off a of green. I will score off a of red. Um, there will be an opportunity at the end of the first period for you to get rid of two headline cards. So if you have a bunch of red headline cards in your hand, yep. you'll be able to hold on to those and get rid of them without ever putting them into play, which means okay. I never get a chance to score them. Um, we start the game with two headlines already in play, so you don't need to necessarily worry about what you've got. So what this yep. is showing us is on turn two, we're going to slide these to current. Mm -hmm. And we're going to play each play a new one. So after right. turn two, there will always be four events. And at the end of turn four is when we check to see if this is true. Right. Okay. okay. So what you'll be looking for is you need to have more NATO influence than Russia in Ukraine. If that's true at the end yep. of turn four, you're going to score a victory point. Right. I'm specifically looking for dominance, meaning a six on my mm -hmm. die Azerbaijan. in Azerbaijan. And if that's true, I score two victory points. Yeah. Okay. There's a nice quick little cheat sheet here uh, for all the different conditions. Oh, right, okay. But generally speaking, you either need to have an army, right, which yep. is the, the uh, hexagon or the diamond, um, or uh, pentagon or the diamond. You need an army presence or more influence or dominance. Those yep. are the three different conditions. Gotcha. Okay, and so by having your three events in hand, you can start planning for, yep. you'll know which one you're gonna put into play so you can start planning for it ahead of time. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to take mine and put them out of my hand just so it's not going to eat my hand real estate while we take our action cards. Okay. And so we start the game by we each draw a hand of four cards. Yep. And we're going to draw uh, three advantage cards. So this is the – I'll cover the uh, – well, let's – before you draw the advantage cards, let's talk about these action cards, right? Yeah. So on your – I'm going to I'm going to take a uh, a quick I'm going to take a card out of here. Uh, let's see. I should have done this before you drew. I've not drawn well, on the advantage cards yet. Yeah, well not the advantage cards. I want to oh. I want to walk you through your actions. Okay. I'm going to just look at one of your cards and you can sure. reshuffle if you want. Yeah. Okay, so Spain and Portugal. So a few things you'll see. Obviously, your places, your cards are tied to uh, members of the EU and members of NATO. Yep. At the top of your card, you'll have EU actions. Under that, you'll have NATO actions. Okay? Right. If a country is only a member of NATO, they'll only have NATO actions. If they're only a member of the EU, they'll only have EU actions. Okay. That's a one real big constraint for the Europe player. Um, the top action here is it's telling you you can place, you can use this card, and you're going you're gonna to use two cards on your turn. Mm -hmm. You can use this card to place a new influence cube in a country, any contested country, any gray country. Is, okay. Is up for for uh, placing the cube, you it, you place it at the one value, and yep. it costs two money, which is the little black two. Yeah, okay? gotcha. One key uh, thing to remember about the game, anytime you ever put anything new on the board, it always costs two money. Right. Okay, so place a new die, place an army, etc. The second action here is increasing an existing EU influence dice by three. Mm -hmm. The third action is taking three money from the bank. Yep. Then, then you have the same actions repeated for NATO. Place new yeah. NATO influence, increase NATO influence. This action is building a new army. It costs two money, as you can see. Now, right. one thing, uh, this is the only action in the game that is tied directly to the location. So when you take this action with Spain and Portugal, you build the new army in Spain in and Portugal. Spain and Portugal, yep. yep. And then, uh, then the last one is move an army. So when you move an army on the board, the first space you move it is free. Each additional space you move it is one money per space. So you can move one army, six spaces, it would cost you five money. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then the last thing is initiative. So when you play, you're going to pick two cards to play. I'm going to pick two cards to play. Mm -hmm. We play them face down. We sum the initiative value and we announce it to each other. Yeah. The player with the higher initiative has to go first. Okay? okay. And the more powerful the card, the higher the initiative is. Right. And so what that means is quite often in this game, you're going to want to go second. You're going to yep. want to react. Okay. Yep. Uh, if you're playing your stronger cards, you'll be less likely to react. So that's okay. a tension you'll have to deal with throughout. 
Yeah. Okay. And then the last thing we have are these advantage cards. So the advantage cards have three things for them. Remember how I said there was an incidental way to get victory points? Yep. If you never use your advantage card, you're going to score a victory point. Okay. Four. Okay. So you can just hold it, never use it, score a victory point. You can use it at any time to get three money, or you can use it for the special thing. Um, these advantage cards are in addition to the two cards you play on your turn. Right. Okay. okay. So you're going to take three advantage cards, look at them, remove one from the game, and keep two in your hand. Okay. Let's get rid of that one. So that goes from the game. Yep, it's removed from the game permanently. Now, if I, if I try and put it on the chair there... Oh, there you go. I've dropped it on the chair. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so yeah, I see what you're saying now about these cards in hand. So I think you're right. right. I think I will. We will move them out and just put them somewhere for now. Uh, this mod, by the way, is this a, a fan created one or is it an official one? I, I created it. Yep. Okay. So I, it's essentially the <laughs> official Phalanx one that I created. Right. Cool. <laughs> Okay, uh, so we are ready to start. Yep. So we will start by each selecting two cards, place them face down, and announce initiative. Right. So two, uh, what are they called? Action cards, did you say they yep, called? Yeah, two action cards. Right, yeah, okay. And, and, so. So, and just, this is probably self-evident, but we'll, we'll play two, then mm -hmm. we'll draw our hand to four, right? And yep. so you'll, you're going to keep those cards in your hand, the, the right. two you don't play. Okay. Um, so let me just have a look. And I need to be looking at... So you want this to keep in mind headline card. You're... Yeah, and, and again, this is also self-evident that this is a zero-sum game, right? So right now, you're probably yeah. either going to play for Ukraine, play to deny me having dominance in Azerbaijan, mm -hmm. or start playing for other things you have, other event card or uh, headline so cards. So quick question: How can I stop you getting dominance in Azerbaijan? So you would you if you get dominance there, I cannot have dominance. Right. right? Oh, oh, okay. yeah. Sorry. Briefly, one thing we need to discuss is the way armies work. This is super simple. Okay. Uh, if you move in, so first of all, your armies cannot move into Russia. Russian armies cannot move into Western Europe, right? right. We can only move our armies in our own locations or the contested regions. Yep. If if my army moves in and you have an army there, they're both armies are wiped out and vice versa. So armies okay. just eliminate each other. If one of us has dominance in a country, let's say you have dominance in the Ukraine, and I mm -hmm. move an army in, yep. uh, your dominance, your six, goes to a five, and my army goes away which is how you knock a, your opposing player out of dominance. Right. Now, okay. we, I also forgot to talk about how you get these contested cards. As soon as your influence in a region goes to five, you mm -hmm. take the contested region card and add it to your discard pile. And then from then on, you'll have it. Your influence can never go below five, right? So you can not be knocked out of dominance in a region from six to five, but that's the only thing an army can ever do. So you, once right. you get a card, you'll never lose it. Okay, right, gotcha. So you would... You could block me from getting dominance by having dominance there, or yep. because I, we both can't have it, or by having an army there. And if you have an army, I can't have dominance. Right. Because you're blocking that. Okay. Uh, well, I think to start with, yeah, let's go with something fairly simple. Uh, let's choose that one and that one. Right. So I have my two cards. Yep. Uh, I do two. I have a. Uh, 11. Uh, so do we reveal them now or just say that we don't reveal them? We don't reveal them. Whoever. Okay. Uh, yeah. I have five. Okay. So I'll go first. Yep. You're just a couple of like, as we're playing through this. So my deck is super small. I have seven cards. You have 13. Oh, cards. wow. So okay. I'm gonna, right. I'm going to go through my deck really quickly. Yeah. Uh, is it I'm, one card per region then? One card per country? Uh, for you, it, it kind of is, right? So it's one card per space. It's like Spain and yep. Portugal is a card. The Western Balkans is a card. So every... Now, the Russia is not. Russia does not have a one-to-one -one correlation. Russia okay. has things like uh, energy sector, secret services, right? Like right. concepts okay. and locations. All right, so I'm going to use energy uh, sector to take three money because mm -hmm. Russia starts out super poor. You start with eight money. I start with two. Where's my money? Oh, this is my money here. Right. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, Secret Services is going to place Russian influence in Azerbaijan. 
Yeah. So I'm going to set that to. Oh, sorry. Which costs you too many. Yeah, I don't know why I can't rotate this die. There you go. Huh. That's weird. Okay, and I spend too money to do that. Do you want me to promote you in Tabletop Simulator? So yeah, I guess. If I can't, yeah, if I can't rotate die, if you don't okay. mind. Seems odd. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, that's it for me. Right, okay, so I reveal my cards. Um, and yeah, since I start with money, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to play um, Greece first to place... Oops, what have I done with it? I think I just put it back in my hand. <laughs> so I'm going to play Greece first, and that adds a die to... Surprise, surprise, let's put it into um, Ukraine, uh, which is here. Okay, that cost me two money. One, two. And then that goes to my discard pile. And then with my other card, I'm just going to use this to add three influence. Yeah, so there. one thing real quick. I think, so if you're playing for this card, you'll want a NATO influence, not EU influence. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Um, That's okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a blue square on that, isn't there? Okay, yeah, in which case... Well, and here's what here's what I would suggest too. Uh, yeah. If, if this this is a good showcase of like what Europe is going to struggle with, where you have an EU and you can't bump this. Right. So if you had a EU card or NATO card, you'd rather just play instead. All right. I mean, clearly this is a learning game. So. Um. If you want. Right? Yeah. Okay. No, I think that's that's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do that for now because, yeah, as you say, it's a learning game. Um, but rather than... Put, so can I have both NATO and EU influence yes, in an absolutely. area? Yes, absolutely. Yep, yep. But they don't add up to six? It's... They don't sum, no. They're, they're, you can think of them as two independent powers that you have to sort of juggle at all times. Yeah. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into Poland with the four. Yeah, there you go. So that's me done. Okay, all right. And so that's it. That's it for turn one. So we're on to turn two. So draw two cards. Draw two cards. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, I'd already drawn now, two. Cards. What happens in turn two? Something happens. Um, Shift headline. Well, at the it's yeah. Everything that happens will happen at the end of the turn. At the end, right? Right. So okay. at the end of turn two, we are going to shift these and we're going to place a new one. So keep right. that in mind. Okay. Cool. Uh, according to the chart, David spent three rather than two. There you uh, go. I, you rode a money. If, if I. Did I? Oh, okay, great. Thank you for keeping me honest, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. I'll believe so. me, I will need it. Okay, right, I've chosen my two cards. As have I, I forgot. I immediately forgot what my initiative was. Yeah, me too. Um, so I'm five. Mine is ten. Okay. Because the cards which place NATO influence for me have really high initiative values. So, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two money and effectively place uh, five NATO influence in place where I meant to go last time. So nice. Ukraine. Yep. There you go. Okay. And so you've now got a five. A... Which is, is it the... five? No, sorry. It's four. It's four. Oh, you only raised it by three. Yeah. It. It's one okay. plus. Yeah. If if you had gotten to five, you would then take the Ukraine card and add it yeah. to different cards. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I am playing. Um, I'm going to play news media to increase my influence in Azerbaijan to four. Yeah. Oh, I still can't raise it. I don't know why. That That's really weird. Odd. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay, and then I'm going to... Um, now, so one thing that you'll note with Russia that's different. Russia has these special actions. They have a couple of different things. They, they build armies in special places that's determined by the card. So it tells me if I build an army, I can use this card to build it in any federal district. Right. Russia cards also have special actions, similar to the way these contested cards have special actions. So this one tells me I can spend three money mm -hmm. to build two armies... In, in the, the federal district. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and start building up my war machine right. here. Right. Okay. Okay. And so that's it for our actions. So we yep. will move these forward. Yeah. And then we're each going to place a uh, 
a place headline, headline. Both face down. Yep. Okay. And then once we both place, we'll obviously reveal them to each other. Right. Okay. So let me just have a look at these again. Yeah, so I'm definitely not placing that one. Okay, let's place this one. Now, there is, is there a strategy here where you would place one that belongs to the other team? Well, there's a chance. So you usually wouldn't do that unless that's all you had in your hand, which right, can okay. happen. Uh, if, you, if you don't ever do that, unless you are forced to, then there's a certainty that we will all get an equal number of opportunity uh, headlines for it, each other, right. right? There's an equal number of them. Okay. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So I was I was right to place that. Although, yeah, oh no, that's funny, Ukraine. Yeah. Oh, that's Ukraine. Ah, right. I should have put it in there. Well, you, ah. you, and that's the key of this game, right? You didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. And now, now that I've got NATO influence in Ukraine, you're probably thinking that I'm not going to put any EU influence in there. Uh, it, so here's okay. So let's talk quickly about that, right? Because yeah. you, this is this is where it's the most difficult thing to play uh, Europe. Okay. If if you get the Ukraine card, let's see if I can find it quickly here. I think it's one of the top ones. Okay, so here's the Ukraine contested card. Mm -hmm. When you get one of your dice to a five, you're going to take this card, you're going to put it in your deck, and it's in your deck. Now, here's the trick for Europe, and this is going to be really tough for you to remember. This is New players always struggle with this. Okay. When this Ukraine card comes up, you can think of having a five or a six in that country as unlocking the associated powers. So... Ukraine card comes up. You can use the NATO powers if you have a five or six NATO. You can use the EU powers if you have a five or six EU. Sure. So okay. if, if all you ever do was was have influence, NATO influence in here, you cannot use Ukraine for yeah. its EU powers. Right. Okay. People will yep. always forget and, and take actions that they're not supposed to. With yep. And I will forget in approximately one minute twenty five seconds. Time, <laughs> <I think. laughs> yep. Okay. I mean, so literally on, on, on Saturday, I was playing a game against somebody and um, they had a protective shield on one of their characters. I went, oh, I'm going to deal it a damage. And they went, you can't, I've got a protective shield. And I went, oh, yeah, right. And then about a minute later, I went, so I'm going to deal that a damage. And they went, Paul, you can't. I've got, a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, I know. I know exactly how, yeah, how exactly that is. Oh, uh, all right. So right. that's it for, uh, for turn two. So we draw a new couple of new cards. Two new cards. Okay, so your deck is empty, so you're shuffling and going back in normal That's deck right. building style. Yep. yep. Okay, right. So we've got a few things to think about now. Uh, the head, the current headline cards are going to be resolved at the end of turn four. Yep. So we have two turns essentially before yep. they will resolve. Okay. Right. And the special cards that we got, the advantage cards, yep. started with two of them. Yeah. Is 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 that it? Is that, are they my cards so, for the game? So here's what's going to happen. At the end of um, turn 10, I have to remember this. The end of turn 10, any unused advantage cards you still have will be discarded. We'll score victory points for them. Right. We're going to draw three new ones and discard oh, okay. one again. So right. you'll have two new ones halfway through the game. Right, okay. So they are special things that I can use if I want to. Yep. Uh, ooh. Hmm. I quite like that. Let's have a look here. Right, so uh, Baltics and Ukraine. Okay, let's have a look. Um, oh, uh, one thing I just noticed. You have four influence in Poland, which means you get the Baltic Sea card. Oh, yes. Okay? And we're going to place EU influence. Now, you only get the EU power because EU yep. is the one that has the most. Yep. And so you get two extra money when you use an EU action with the Baltics or Poland card. So right now right. you don't have it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. But if you do, you'll get that benefit. Right. Okay. Uh, in which case, I think. Oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, and you get the card at six, don't you? No, at five. You get it. So you five. get the card at five. Yeah. Dominance at six. Yeah. I meant right. five, and then I said six. Um, okay. So I'm going to use that one, and I'm also going to use. that one I right. have a 12 I have a 7 okay um, the Northwest Federal District is going to increase Azerbaijan's influence to 6 if you yeah. don't mind that for me sorry there you go. so I'm going to go ahead and take the Azerbaijan card before I forget and it's okay, I definitely don't want this card um, before I forget let me just show you one thing this is new to you yeah this has a thing called reaction reaction is not something you typically want to see on your card what it means is if I use Azerbaijan's card, you're going to get the opportunity to do this thing in response. Okay. So uh, it just represents the enmity between these two countries. So you would right. get a free action there. Okay. Um, and then I am going to use the president to take three money. Okay. So I am going to use um, the Benelux card. I'm going to spend two money to place some NATO influence on the Baltics. That comes two money. Looks like the Skype call has dropped, but hopefully you'll come back in. You back? Yeah, I just got you. Right. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to use the. Oh, I should just put that in my Discord pile. Um, so that was Benelux to add NATO influence. Uh, then we're going to use the Finland card, and we're going to use that to actually take two money. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're on turn four. We are on turn four. Let's draw a couple of cards. So the in this one, we're going to have our first. Yeah. Resolution. Right. And I'm going to get one point, and you're going to get two at the it, moment. It, yeah, at the moment, that's true. Yep. Yeah. And you have to have more influence than me, and I have to have dominance. Yeah. Um, okay, so hmm. That's what the mod needs, is somewhere for me to put my cards. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Right, I have my cards. All right, I think I'm done. Let me look at what my initiative was, though. Let's see, hold on. So I've got a 12. I've got seven. Okay, so I'm going to use Secret Services and Southern Federal District. We're going to yep. protect this investment, right? So... Um, two. So this one is going to go one, two, into Azerbaijan, which costs one money. Costs one money because you moved it to, yeah. Yep. And then this guy will go one, two, three, and I'll spend two money. Right, okay. Now, did you do that because I have an army in Turkey? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, just generally speaking, I know for a fact that you have tons of money. Most of uh -huh. your cards let you move armies, and unless I have two armies in a country with dominance, you can always knock me out of dominance if you're willing to invest it, right? Because how, you can. How could one, I have done it with? If, yeah. if you had, if if I only had one army there, you could yep. send with one action. You could send one army in and remove my army, and then a second army in to remove. Oh, just knock me down. Yeah, I'd kind of ruled out doing that because it was so far away. Yeah. But, it, it is, and, and honestly, the only reason, and this, this comes with, with the repeated plays and the yeah. luck of the headline cards, there's, in the first period, there's quite a few Caucasus cards, potentially. Right. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping that this is a long-term investment for me. Okay. Um, well, I did actually play this, just in case you didn't do that, I was going to move in there, but mm -hmm. I don't think I'll do that now. 
Um, so let's go with my... So I, I'm going to get the one point from that. That's fine. The Baltics, I need more influence than you. Oh, sorry, I need more NATO influence than you. And I need an army in there as well. So... Uh, yeah, okay. Let's use Norway to get uh, three extra influence on there. And then let's use Sweden to, I think, take three money. Yeah. One, okay. Two, three. <clears throat> One minor thing that just happened. I'm surprised I actually remember this. Uh, on this card, the Baltic Sea Influence card, there's a tie yep. break. It's NATO, then EU, then Russia. So <laughs> the actual control of the Baltic Sea just flipped from EU right. into <laughs> okay. the, the NATO. Because right, so NATO age. now has control of the Baltic. So Europe can now move armies in Germany, Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, or Poland, one space, without taking an action. So it's just a free thing to let you move around your armies up here. What, once per turn? Once per turn, that's right, yep. Okay. Yep. Now they have to start in those countries, right? They don't have to end in those countries. Right, so. okay. So that means I could move Germany to Poland? You could, you could. And one thing we didn't talk about would be sea spaces. Sea spaces are just like land spaces, right? So you oh, could right. move okay. Germany into the Baltic Sea if you wanted, or into Poland, or, or whatever you right. want to do. Okay. So I can do that now? You can do it now, yep. So I think I think we will. So can I move Germany into the Baltics for free? Well, you, you couldn't do that because that would be two spaces, right? So oh, okay, right. Sea. So I just move it into the Baltics. Um, but then could I move it? No, I can't move it out i would need an action to actually move it out that's right exactly right. okay yep. gotcha yep. so headline cards yep so you score one, one. i score two and you score two uh here's our little score markers yeah i guess that can disappear let's pop it on the chair there you go yep and now these, we move on to these the slide oh, forward yes. and we're going to play a new one now one thing neither one of us remember to do and i'll forget this every single time is when we played our uh, headline card last time we should ah, have each drawn a new one. Right, okay. Yeah. Right, okay. And then I'm going to put that down there with the other ones. In fact, I might keep these in hand. Yeah. Uh, right, and are we playing a new headline card now? That's right, yep. And then drawing a new one. Right, okay. Yep. Um. Hmm. Okay. Card has been played and revealed. Ah. All right. So, so we each <laughs> have a handful of the opponent's cards. Right? We do. Oh, right. Tough. Okay. It's good to know. All right. Right. Turn five. I yep. need to draw two cards. Okay. All right. So let's just have a look at what we're doing here. Okay. Um, do you also have, do I have the Black Sea as well? Uh, so the Black Sea has a minimum influence of five to hold oh, okay. it. Okay. So right now you're one, one short. Right. Right, got my two cards. I have nine. Uh, I've got more than that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I've got like 13 or something. 14, in fact. Um, 
Yeah, so I can still do my free move. Yep. But that only moves into the Baltic Sea. I can't, I can't move out of the Baltic Sea. You cannot move out of the Baltic Sea. Either. Yeah, you yeah. have to have one of these, like Norway, Denmark. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll go from Denmark into the Baltic Sea. Okay, so that's my free movement. Um, I'm then just going to spend two money playing one of these cards to add uh, one NATO influence and the other one to increase it uh, by four. And we're going to put it in uh, where we were going to put it. We were going to put it. No, I've read this wrong, haven't I? I have read this wrong. I'm using yellow. That's it. I'm not putting that in. I'm using yellow. Uh, so one to place it and the other one to increase it by four. And do I put it in the Ukraine? Yeah, go on. I'll put it in the Ukraine. So I got five in the Ukraine. Nice. Okay, so you'll take the Ukraine card now. Which I can only use for the yellow ability. Until you get NATO to five. That's yeah. right. Okay. I am going to let's stick with my plan here. So the energy sector is going to take three money. Yep. Um, oh, come on. All right. Energy sector takes three money. Uh, Northwest Federal District is going to spend two of that. Should have just left it over there to place... Russian influence in Ukraine, and uh, and then I'm going to play one of my advantage cards. I'm going to play the Prime okay. Minister, which right. allows me to go through my deck and find the President card, <laughs> add it to my hand, and use it immediately. So oh wow! Okay, I'm going to I'm going to use it to then increase my um, influence to four. So right. if you don't mind, just set my influence yep, to four cool. in Ukraine. Okay. And then my prime minister advantage card is gone. Hmm. Okay. We're done. Yep. Next All turn. Right, so turn six. Turn yep. six. So I draw one card, then flip my deck over, shuffle it, draw another one. Yep. I think that's the first time you've shuffled. Is that right? It is. Yep. And I've shuffled like two or three times. So that yeah. gives you a, it's a huge difference between Europe. You, you have more powerful cards on one extreme and weaker on the other. And yeah. I cycle my deck much quicker. Right. So. Hmm. Okay. We have a plan there. Um, and we have a plan there. So playing that one and I'm going to play that one as well. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> seven. Ten. You got it. Okay, so um, I'm going to use one of these cards. It doesn't really matter which one to move an army into the Baltics. Um, now I don't get to see your cards, so I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's it. That's that card done. That card has been used to move an army. I can't use. I can't move more than one army with it. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. If you were to move this army here into here, that would destroy yep. this army. That means I would not get that's right that one. That's right. Well, that seems a, a quick, easy way of denying me two points. Well, and and, and here's this is huge, one of the biggest, probably the biggest tension in the game is who goes first. Yes, because you there's such um, you know. You have to, it's, it costs more to invest in somebody stopping you than it does to stop someone, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay. Meanwhile, in the Ukraine, you've got to have more influence than me in order mm -hmm. for you to score one point. Oh, sorry, right. more influence than the EU. Um, now, for me to use this Spain-Portugal card to increase it from a five to a six, 
seems inefficient. But what, what it would mean is that I would have to knock you down from a six to a five and then increase my influence. So it cost me two actions yeah. to include using a military. Yeah, to which, is, which is, I think, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to divide your attention between the two different places. Yep. Okay, yep. now I don't get anything for increasing that to six apart from the opportunity to score. Oh, that's exactly right. Yep. Yeah. Okay, done. Okay, so that was, I think that was really well played. I mean, you give, so it's, like I said before, it's all zero sum, right? So yeah. I'm, it's better for me to deny you here than it is to get this, yeah. at least short term. Yeah. Um, so not surprising anybody, I'm going to do exactly that. So I'm going to move this army in, so the two armies wipe each other out. Yep. And then, oh... Um, oof. what do I do? I need to take two money. Okay. I think I accidentally took it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's it. Uh, so, so we neither, score. Neither of so, them. Nope. So these, these both just get deleted. Is that right? That's right. Yep. Exactly. There we go. This slides down. Uh, and then we get another card each. Right. Okay. And then we play another card. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, let's not do that. Oh, my. Okay, card has been played. All right. It, so it, it's one of mine, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Right. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, I can't score off of it, right? And it gives yeah, me something exactly. to think about. So. Exactly. All right. I'm putting in it Czechia and Slovakia. Real. You have to have dominance in Czechia and Slovakia to score those two points. Okay. Easy peasy. Somebody, I saw somebody commented real quick about the speed of the game. I, yep. To prep myself for today, I, I taught it brand new to a person that only vaguely knew the game this oh, past cool. weekend. And it took us like, I think, 75 minutes to get through everything. Right. So this is a point of reference. Uh, right, let's draw two cards from your deck. And off we go. Let's see what we're going to do here. So short-term goals, longer-term goals, and then even longer-term goals. <laughs> That's right. Um, so Western Balkans, if I have more than you in there, I'm going to score a point. That's right. Uh, it's round seven, isn't it now? It is, yeah, yeah, it should be. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so let's have a look what we've got. Just need to get the timing of this right uh, oh I should now have the black sea card uh, they don't sum oh no you're right you're right I got yeah, a six. you should have it for the EU that's right yeah yep let's have a look at what that does um, and flip it over for the EU oh right okay aha Europe gains two when using an EU action card with Eastern Balkans to Georgia. Oh, right, okay. Eastern Balkans, Georgia, Ukraine. Ah. That changes things a bit. Um, or does it? Yes, it does. <laughs> um, oh. Okay, so 
I have a cunning plan for next turn, and I don't. I, I kind of want to start it, but I kind of don't want to start it. Um, okay, I'm just going to play this one and this one. Okay, so my initiative well, is five. I have eight. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to place influence in Belarus and mm -hmm. then raise it to four, if you don't mind. Yep. That costs two. And that's it for me. Okay. Yeah, let's just have a look what's going on up here. Right, okay. Uh, so I'm going to be... Yeah, I'm going to be spending two to basically place one influence and then increase it to four. Um, and I'm going to put it in the yeah I'm not sure yeah um, you've got a lot of competing uh, goals you can kind of have to pick one and, and run with it yeah I think we'll go with that's Azerbaijan and Georgia which is down here so I can put it in there you, you could. Now, the likelihood that you're able to get that is almost impossible, right? I can't score off of it. And the, True. The idea okay, that you yeah. would need the me and that is... You'd need both, yeah. Um, so, okay, yeah, let's just let's just put it in... Um... Oh, I think I moved the wrong one. Yeah, okay. I'll put it in the Eastern Balkans, so we're good. Okay. And you, But for now, at least, you don't have anything up here that's related to the Eastern Balkans. Correct. Yeah, it. that's fine. Okay. Yep, we're both we're both doing our best to plan. That's yep. <laughs> okay. So right, we move on eight. to turn eight, and we draw some more cards. Okay. Now is this going to change what I do? No. Oh, so okay. So turn eight special. Uh, oh, okay. Turn eight is the eight is the round in which we are going to we're going to resolve these, move these like we have been every time. We'll play yeah. a new one, and then we're going to discard the two that we don't play and okay. draw three new ones. Okay, so right. you you'll need to draw. I think you're down one card. Yeah, so you draw this guy from your last time. Yep. And then uh, yeah, so the two that you don't put into play this time, we'll get this. We'll go. Okay, gotcha. Okay, sorry, right. I'm just a little behind you here. Yeah, that's all right. I've got my cards. Okay. Um. Oh man, it's just. Ah, sorry. Um. Okay, I think I have a nine, but let me confirm that. Yep, nine. Thirteen. Okay. Okay. Now, if I've got this right, I am going to play an advantage card first, which is. US aid. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pay up to three and for each one spent increase EU influence in a contested region to two. So I'm going to spend three money uh, and I'm going to put one dice into Western Balkans, one dice into Czechia and Slovakia uh, and another dice into um, Let's put it into the Baltics. Okay. Yep. Now that was increase influence to two, not add two. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's exactly, you, you played it exactly right. Okay. Now I'm going to use my two plus four cards to change Eastern Balkans to six and Czechia and Slovakia to six. Nice. Which well gets done, me sir. those two cards. Yep. That's a big turn for only only costing three money. Yeah.
Right, okay, I have those cards. Yep, and just keep in, I know I've mentioned it before, just keep in mind, when they come up, you won't be able to use them for the NATO action. Correct, yeah. Okay, I am going to, um, let's see, I can't really deal with that, so I'm just going to have to give it up. I can't win that. So I am going to take three money. And I am going to increase Belarus's uh, influence to six, if you don't mm -hmm. mind. So that gets you dominance, gets you the card and dominance in Belarus. Okay. Yep, that's right. Right. So we're going to score these. Yep. So that one disappears. You didn't score yep, anything for right. that one. Uh, yep. And this one, I get a point. You Yep, you get a point, so we're tied two to two. Oh. These slide They forward. go to there. And yep. then we... We'll we each place play a headline. Last... Right, okay. Then we discard. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, played it. Okay, and then you can just, I've got my two leftover ones here if you want to delete those for me and however you want to do that. There's my two leftover ones. Yep, and there's mine. Okay, and then we draw three new ones. Yep. Okay, right. And we advance to turn nine. Yeah. Or take a moment to look at these new events. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I was quite limited with what I had in my hand. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you got, it's good that you got to experience that, right? Because yeah. And what, remember what I said earlier, you know, I was forced to play green, you're yeah. forced to play red. Um, but it's, it's just a different, a different thought process of like yeah. denial versus getting it yourself. Yeah. Okay, so two cards and we are on round nine. Yep. And it's at the end of round 10 that you're going to score one point for every region that you're dominant in. Yeah, and that's now here's this isn't super applicable except maybe in the Ukraine. Uh, if you were to have dominance at NATO and EU, you would only still score one point for right. Ukraine. Yeah, because it's me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at my cards. Hmm. Right, okay. Building armies is slow, isn't it? Yeah, it's expensive. I mean, you can move armies, but that's expensive too. Yeah. And really, I mean, this is pretty obvious, but it's not really a, a war game, right? It's, no, no, no. But the, no. Armies, the armies are representing <laughs> like presence, not so yeah. much. Like, they're clearly not fighting, right? Yeah. There's this one army still sat there in the Baltic Sea that's been there for five years. <laughs> Probably getting a bit bored. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I'm going to use that one. And. We're going to use that one. Okay, so I'm on I nine. Think I, I think I have 14, but let me confirm that. And if it's tied? Uh, if it's tied, you always go first. Okay. Okay, so uh, I do have 14, so Ooh. I'm going to take three money with the president, and I am going to move 
an army from Central Federal District into Belarus. Oh, right, okay. Just a nice free one movement. Yeah. I thought you might have gone into Czechia well, and Slovakia. Yeah, oh. it's, yeah, it's tough, right? So I yeah. could do that. Um, the problem is, one thing I didn't talk about is I can't move through Ukraine without knocking your dominance down, right? Oh, okay. So I didn't mention that, but yeah, if, if an army moves into here, it has to encounter you and has to knock you down. So it would right. be a long route to get to you. Yeah. And you would almost certainly be able to undo it. Yeah, so. just by spending, yeah, just by increasing it again to six. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you could have done, but that's why I kind of wanted to go low. Yeah, um, exactly. Yep. But then again, this isn't a scoring round. So yeah, okay. So um, let's go with the original plan. Um, which was, <laughs> I did have an original plan. Um, it was to move an army, um, and it's going to be the army from France. So it moves so one for free. Yeah, keep in mind if you do that, you have to use your Germany card to do it. Because Ukraine can't take NATO actions right now. You're right. The rule that we forgot. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's always. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that's good. So that's the Germany card used for that, and that cost me one money. Okay, but then I'm going to use my Ukraine card for money, mm -hmm. which is normally one, but because I've got the Black Sea, it's an extra two. That's right. Yep. So it becomes it becomes three money. So one, two, three. Okay. All right. We are turn done. ten. Turn ten. The big one. Yeah. Two cards. Here we go. <sighs> right. So. Hmm. One thing we I haven't talked to you about. So you see on this card right here, yeah, this card almost certainly won't happen, right? This, I don't yeah. think it's possible. Yeah. If if it did, you would score three victory points. And we also put a money token in Azerbaijan and Georgia. Oh, and okay. if either of us ever used those cards to take money you get an extra money. Right, okay. It increases the economic value of yes. the country. Right, okay. Exactly. Uh, I seem to be missing a card. Yes. Maybe I only drew one card from my deck this turn. I only have three action cards. So, yeah, I must have missed drawing one. Right, okay. That's better. Tis, tis very tricky. Yeah. Yep. I think it's going to be not that. It's going to be that and that. Okay. Got my two cards. I have a six. Seven. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right. So whatever I do. You can react to it, but I know that your cards are not that powerful. Exactly. Yep. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm concerned I might lose some things here, but, um, right. I am going to use the, uh, the Finland card to give me three extra influence and we're going to put it into uh, the Eastern Balkans. So that gets me that card as well. Nope, not in my hand. Okay, which goes there. And then 
My next card is Denmark, and it's what do I do with this? I I think I'm going to use it for yeah, just an extra two influence in Poland. So I take the Poland card as well. Okay, done. All right. Obviously, you can react to that. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use Azerbaijan mm -hmm. to move an army. Uh, let's do it from the Volga. He's going to move two, so it's going to cost me a money to rem knock you out of. Um, I'll to put you down to five. So it, the army goes away, and you go down to five influence. Where was this in uh, Ukraine? In the Ukraine, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've lost then, dominance, but I keep the card. Yep. Now before we do anything, Azerbaijan has a reaction, so you can choose to. Uh, uh, increase your influence right um mm -hmm. by one up to a maximum of in those since you don't have influence this is always an option in the game you can always place with this option right so instead of increasing you can place influence but it yeah. costs you the normal two money oh okay oh i'm sorry no in this this specific card that's not true you can place for free i can place so you it always says for free yeah yep yep okay. that's unusual but in this card that's the case so right um well, let's, yeah. let's do that then. So it has to be in Armenia, right? Yeah. So you can place EU or NATO influence in let's Armenia. Let's place one NATO influence in Armenia. Okay. Okay, done. And then I'm going to increase my influence in Ukraine to six, if you don't mind. Right, nice. Okay, so in with the army to knock mine down, and then, yeah. Okay, so yep. you've got a Ukraine card as well. Um. Well... A couple of, uh, it's a two point swing by me doing that. Yeah. For when we got dominance, right? That was the main thing. But I do know that Ukraine will play heavily in m most second periods of the game. Right. Okay. Right. But in your territory deck, whatever, you've got a Ukraine card in there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I need to add that. Yes. You get that yeah, now we as well. Couple, right. Yeah. We need to do a couple of things. I need to add that and we switch control of the um, Black Sea. The Black Sea. I, I now have the Black Sea. Yeah. Okay. So that is now controlled by Russia. Okay. And I can build armies in the Black Sea for three money, but is it, it, and it doesn't. Is it controlled touch. by Russia? Uh, Russia has the. Oh, no. I've got the Eastern no, Balkans. No, 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 no. You've yeah. got Eastern Balkans. I'm sorry. Yeah, of course. You've, you've got uh, quite a bit of control there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good catch. All right. So we would resolve these. You get two points for the worst. This yeah. doesn't score. So that's those gone. Yep. They slide down. Uh, and then we count dominance. Yep. So I've got two points. You've got four. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see. I need to make a snap for those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, any advantage cards we have left are used up, and we score a victory point for them. I have one. One. Okay. Okay. All right. We uh, new. Hmm. Okay, I've okay. placed. And then I'll draw a new one. It's all red. All red. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, and we get three new advantage cards. We'll mm -hmm. keep two and remove one. Okay, let's have a look what we've got here.
Hmm. Right, okay. I've kept those two cards. Okay. I advanced this to turn 11. Uh, everything's good. One thing that, I mean, we've talked about this quite a bit. You may start to find it difficult to manage your deck because you've done a really good job of scoring points and expanding. Yeah. But you've got a lot of contested countries. Yeah. My, my deck's win. rubbish. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we'll see how much that plays into the, to the second yeah. period. Yeah. Because I, I did have a card in hand. And I had an advantage card in hand that I decided not to use, which would have allowed me to remove two cards. Oh, yeah. That's a great uh, card. And I'm that's thinking I should card. have probably used that. Yeah, that's a good one. For sure. sure. We will see. We yeah. will see. Right. So, choosing of cards. Let's just have a look at these scoring things here. Georgia, you need an army and more influence than NATO, and you need dominance of Belarus. Okay, and that is not this turn, but next that's turn. That's right, next turn. Yeah. yeah. But you've got an army in Belarus, so that's going to be quite difficult to knock you out there. Hmm, okay, right. So. Okay, I've got my cards. I've got mine. Seven. Twelve. Okay. And the armies that you build have to go in that particular region. That's right. If correct. you build an army. Yep. So we have... See, at the moment, it seems wiser for me to just move the existing armies. Rather mm -hmm. than buying any more, because yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, there's it, both routes are kind of expensive, right? Yeah. Um, you you like I said, you start with a lot of armies on the board. And yeah. So t oftentimes that's what players will do in Europe. They'll they'll move their armies before they make new ones. Yeah. But that's not necessarily. It just depends on where you're at. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think with um, certainly with one of the cards, I'm going to move an army. Um, and I don't know whether to move this one. I mean, it's free for move it. So I think I think we'll move it. We'll move that one f off the boat into the Baltics. Uh, and then with my second card, I think we're going to move an army again. But this time we're going to move the one in Italy. And we're going to move it two spaces into Eastern Balkans. So that okay. cost me one money. Yep. Okay. All right. I am going to... I think first, I'm going to uh, play my advantage card, just diplomatic relations. I'm going to okay. place influence in a contested region. So I'm going to place it in Georgia and then uh, increase it to three, if you don't mind. Nice. So this card's done. Um, then I will. Da, da, da. I, think I will. Go ahead and increase that. If you don't mind, Georgia, take it to six. Six, yep. Yeah. And then I will take the card before I forget. Oh, I think... I'll take three money. Okay. Kind of build up my coffers here a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's quite a lot of money now you've got now. Right, so we move on. So this is going to be a scoring round. Yeah. Draw two cards. Yep. Okay, let's see what we got. 
and I have no opportunity to score points at this stage, but potentially you could score four. If you get this right, <laughs> you yeah. could score four. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to go with that one, and we'll go with that one. Okay, got my cards. I have seven. I have seven as well. Uh, so you go first. <sighs> right, okay, so... What can we do? Um, so hypothetically speaking, I move an army into here, that destroys that, I then can't move another army in. So, yeah, okay. Right, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play both of these just to put a new influence in Hungary and in Moldova. And then I'm going to play this card, which gets me one money for each contested region that has Ooh. more <laughs> yellow than red. One, Good two, pass. three, four, five, six money. Uh, I think even the Baltics up here. Seven money. Right. Seven okay. money. So you get it, it's a net three, right? You netted three out of that. Uh, yeah, go. one, two, three. I uh, didn't do the thing. Well played, yeah. sir. Well, well played. I'm not... Yeah, I mean, all I did was net three money. I, I lost a yeah. victory point and got three money. Well, that's true. That's true. I mean, you've I, got influence in these. I've, I've got a bit of influence in these, which might... Yeah, we'll see. Maybe, we'll see. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Now, here's here's always the challenge, right? Like, I played my cards thinking I was going to go first, so it's like now i got to right. quickly strategy here. Um, not complaining. Because I'm going to score, I need to move an army into Georgia, so clearly one of them has to do that. Yeah. Oh! Uh, I, I forgot I, to play a card. Is that oh, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah sorry. I did. Uh, oh, no, actually... No, no, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. No. You, you're good? Okay. I'm, I'm good. I can tell you why later on, but... <laughs> okay. All right. So, we will definitely move an army from Azerbaijan into Georgia. Because that doesn't cost anything, does it? Yeah, that's free. Yeah. And then let's go ahead. You know what? Let's let's uh, let's do Southern Federal District to do that, and then I'll play the Military Industrial Complex to build two armies in the Volga. Three money for two armies. Nice. Okay. Okay. So, scoring. So I score four. So we are tied. Yeah, that moves on. Place headline, draw a new headline. So these go. Yep. Those shuffle down, and then we place a new one. Okay. I finally got a green card. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Right, okay. Um, so we've done that, we've done that, we draw a new card. 
And now we are on turn 13. Draw two cards. Right, OK. So Oof. And this is pretty obvious, but we're going to discard uh, two headline cards at the end here, too. So you'll be able to save. Just like you did the other time. Uh, where at the end of at the 14? end of uh, on sixteen, the end of sixteen on we'll sixteen, right? Two, okay, yeah. And then we'll just resolve the ones that are still in play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At the end of the game, um, I think. Okay. Uh, I've got eight. Just looking at the Black Sea, do I have mm -hmm. control of it now? Because you've got 12. Oh, yeah. Good call. Yeah. Good so call. does that Thank mean you. you've got it? I do. Yeah. Um, yeah, because you only got 11, right? Yeah. So in the case of a tie in the Black Sea, Russia wins that. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Moldova is not adjacent to the Black Sea. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So initiative. Yeah, I've got eight, I think. I've got eight as well. Uh, so you go first. I do. Uh, right, let's try and remember what I was going to do. I did remember. Uh, it was to use Greece to put a couple of, uh, to put a NATO influence and then Turkey to increase it to five in Hungary. Okay. Uh, which cost me two money. Yeah. Two. And gets me the Hungary card. I'm going to take, oh, let's see. All right, I'm going to take three money, but then I'm going to spend it, two of it, to build an army in Belarus. Now, um, if I have an effect here, Russia, I can build, when I build an army in Belarus, I can take a plus one, or I can get a plus one in the Baltics. Oh, nice. I don't have, I don't have one right now. Mm -hmm. So what I could do is spend two money to place new influence. Right. Uh, but it would cost me two money. And if I do that, I'll let you move an army. So I'm not, I'm going to choose not okay. to do that. Yeah, nice. Okay. Okay. Right. Turn 14. Yeah, so we move on. Two more cards, and have we got the thing that I want? I think we have. So hopefully you're not going to get Western Balkans. <laughs> hopefully. That would, be, that would be... But you do have dominance oh. in Ukraine. Well, and this actually, to be clear, that's a military presence in Ukraine. So I don't have that yet. That's a, oh, that's right. Probably, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, not been looking at the text on these cards because some of them have text on as far um, as actions all of yeah. your contested, all of your contested countries will have something so they'll either have an action which means you can do that instead of the yeah. normal action, a reaction which is something that i can do or an effect an effect means it happens 
independent of the action taken, and it'll, yeah. they'll all explain it. But yeah, yeah, I can see it now. I just, I just hadn't done it. Um, uh, there was a question in the in the chat. A uh, part oh, yeah. of the four I moved. So I removed um, four headlines from each side. So four Europe and four Russia were removed uh, on the first period, and three from each were removed from the second period. And then uh, we each discard two. So by the end of the game, you'll have seen a little over half the headlines. And since each player gets them, it is, it's a ton of... It, each game plays out super different because the headlines will always be different. Hmm. Right, okay, I got my cards. All right, I've got 12. Five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really did not want to go first. This is this is a bad one, because it's an easy turn for me to win this card. Yep. Uh, if I could have gone low, right? But I have to, now I have to invest in the protection. And so the only way I can protect you, protect from stopping that, is to have three armies in here. Yeah. Um, so Which I you will can't do, do with two cards, can you? Well, so I, I happen to have I've been holding on to this. I've got my hybrid warfare oh, okay. advantage. So I'm going to drop an army for free for that card. Yep. And then I'm going to use both of these to move these two armies in. Right. But it now means you're free to do with your cards whatever you like. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't going to do that. Anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> it was a huge investment for one point, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, now I've got the Eastern Balkans, but Eastern Balkans is controlled by the EU, so I can only use the EU side. Uh, and if I do, I can add one influence to Moldova. So uh, I think that's uh, oh, up to a maximum of five. Um, so where are we going to add the three? That is the question. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to add the three to the Baltics. So that goes up to five. Uh, and then that allows me to increase Moldova by plus one. Mm -hmm. yep. So that's Eastern Balkans done, because I don't have the Black Sea, so I can't use it to get money. Well, I, I could use it to get two money, but no, that's fine. Um, you... And then I'm going to use Sweden to... Uh, what should I do with Sweden? What should I do with Sweden? Indeed, I think I'll use Sweden to take three money. Yeah, and and don't uh, don't forget to take the Baltics card because you went up to five, so Baltics. you've got EU. Yeah, and control of the Baltic Sea is now EU, not NATO, because of eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, which means. Whenever I use a card with Baltics or Poland, I gain too many. Right, okay. Yeah. So let's draw two cards. All right, we resolve these. So yep. this one obviously doesn't score, but I get one point. You get one point. <laughs> one very he heavily invested in points. Yep. <laughs> okay, now we play a new card. Okay. And turn 15. Yep. Okay, right. Hmm. We each take a card. Oh, and yeah. I think, yep, that's it. So those yep. will be our last ones. Right. Hmm. Okay, so we're on turn 15. Yep. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, man. This is tough. Mm hmm. Uh,.
So here's a question. Yeah. This card here. Mm -hmm. if, if I can play this card to add three NATO influence to an area that already has influence, what's the point of the action? Uh, I mean, you can add it to both of them, right? So you're splitting it across the two of them. Right, so you can add uh, EU influence to Hungary and Poland or NATO influence to Hungary and Poland. Oh, there's, there's the word and in big bold letters that I didn't, <laughs> didn't see. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. yes. And I, I guess that respectively. So if I've got six NATO, I can add two NATO exactly. and two NATO. Yeah, okay. That's right. Yep. Um, right, okay, so it's two in each rather than, yeah, okay. I see. Right, let's pop that back in my hand. Mm. Wow. You've got me a little bit on the ropes here. I'm going to figure this out. Okay, got my cards. Chris is back. Hi, Chris. It was looking good for me. I was on eight. David was on four, but now he sneaked ahead to nine. I've got sne sneaky seven. Russians. <laughs> uh, I have more than seven. I have nine. Okay. So I am going to play the Czechia and Slovakia card, and I'm going to use okay. it as the action because I have six. Oh no! Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah, I've messed that up. Um, Right, okay. I, I, I was going to use it to add NATO influence, but I can't because I don't have NATO influence in yeah. Czechia. So I'm going to use Italy first. I'm going to spend two money um, to add one NATO influence to Poland. Uh, then I am going to use the Czechia card to add three to it. Put that up to four. Okay. Okay, done. I am going to move an army into Poland. So that will remove the army and knock your EU influence to five. Down to five, yep. And then I'm going to come in with an army here. So now, as long as this army is present, you cannot have dominance in this area. So I can't right, so increase it to six. That's right. And not until you remove the army first. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Turn 16. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's draw two cards. Right, okay. So I can only use the effect of a neutral, not neutral, but a contested card if I have five influence in that particular country. Yeah, that's right. Oh man, this is tough. And a card that increases the influence cannot be used to add influence um what do you mean so um this card here uh -huh. is is nato plus three yeah you can't use that to add one nato yeah that's right yeah 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 and honestly this card doesn't even have that action available to it anyway no so exactly, even if yeah. you did yeah uh right Hmm. Okay, well, I think I know what I need to do. 
uh, and that will be that and is it scoring this round it is it scoring is, this yeah. round isn't it yeah we're scoring hungary with a nato army and more nato influence than me and yeah. that, there's no way i'm getting the other one Okay, got my cards. Uh, oh, I have a four. You kidding? Nope. That's really low. Yeah. I got four as well. Oh, nice. Oh, I thought surely you can't go four. <laughs> Don't wow. The weakness of my countries. Okay, so I've got the Ukraine card, and I was going to use that to move an army, and we were going to move it from. He can't. Yeah, because you don't have five in Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh, okay, in which case that card's all a bit rubbish, isn't it? Um, yeah. What can I do with that one, then? I can increase the Baltics to six, I guess. Yeah, that's a bit rubbish. So we just use that for a plus one, um, which means you don't get to build an army in Moscow. Okay. Uh, and then Finland is just going to be used to uh, add three to Moldova. Okay. You'll take the yep. Moldova card. I'll take the Moldova card. I love these cards. They're so, <laughs> they're so great. Well, the good news is you're doing a really, really good job of scoring dominance at the end. I am, yes. Yeah. Okay, now again, I had planned to have to move armies in here. So what am I mm -hmm. going to do with horrible cards, right? Like this is this is the real tension. I've got two really bad cards to do something with. So let's um, Poland. Let's shore up. Poland. So we're going to move an army with one. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. And I'll, I'll, I'm not going to take the. I'm not going to use the effect. And then Ukraine will. I'm going to use it to move an army two spaces into Belarus, which costs me a money. Yep. 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 Okay. And. Uh, you can increase your EU or NATO influence in Ukraine to a maximum of five. So you could, if you want to, go ahead and boost I, that. I will. Yeah. Yep. It means that it Ukraine means like, card that I just have to get yep. rid of. <laughs> I could now <laughs> use for the NATO action. That's right. Right. Okay. So we're scoring. Yep. Uh, I don't think either's happened. So. Nope. All right. Both of those get deleted. Uh, yeah, that was my bad play that. And then we'll we'll each add one, and this is the last one that gets added. Yeah. So, so the others just get deleted. Yeah. Um, hold one second here. This is a tough decision. Oh wow. Oh man. Okay. Hmm. Oh, nice. Okay, that's a good one for you. Oh, right. So you had three green ones. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Interesting. This could be a, a late game comeback. <laughs> it, well, this is huge, right? This is super hard to pull off. It's easy to deny for me. Yeah. But, uh, well, especially because the current situation in Poland. Yeah. Oh, no. You've only got armies in there. So I've only got armies. So I've got still got more influence. Yeah. Right, but I don't have, yeah. Okay, right. Uh, so I've drawn my cards. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look what we've got. That would be that, which is that. Um, 
that would be that. Uh, we're not scoring this round, are we? No. Ooh. Um, right. Okay, so I'm playing that one. And I'm going to play that one. Okay. I have an eight. I have like an 11, something like that. Okay. So Poland is going to be used and can only be used for the EU action. Um, so it's either three money or three extra influence. Let's take the three extra influence and put it into Moldova. It gives me dominance there. And uh, you get two, two free money because it's still... EU is still dominant in the Baltic, and you're oh, using and because it I used the Poland action. card. Yeah. Right, yeah, thank you. One, mm -hmm. two. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot. It's when you use the Poland card, not just when you use the Poland card to take money. That's right. Right, and then we're going to use Germany to move an army. Right, now then, <laughs> <laughs> where are we going to move to? Because I'm, I'm not going to get that. I don't think I'm going to get that at all. Um, and if I try and knock you out of Belarus now, then you're just going to move back in there. Well, it means you're going to have to move back in there. Um, so now Ukraine is Ukraine scoring again? It's not, is it? Mm -mm. Nope. It's not really scoring again. So I was thinking I could move into Ukraine and knock your dominance down, but then what's that actually going to do? Because, um, yeah, you could probably just increase it again fairly easily. So I'll tell you what, yeah, let's let's just move into there. So these two, yep. these two kill each other. Uh, and then it's your go. All right. I am going to place influence in... Uh, Poland and raise it to four if you don't mind. Okay. That'll cost me two money. And you, you can get dominance in there. Yeah. Whereas I yeah. can't. Right. The armies. Right. Okay. All done? Yep. Right. So turn 18. Let's draw two cards. I've only got one. Flip, shuffle, draw. Okay, right. Okay. Oh, let's see. Okay. Uh, Four. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly different. So I'm going first, and I'm going to play US sanctions. Ooh, okay. So you cannot spend money. Okay. This turn. Gotcha. Okay, and with these two cards, Denmark and... United Kingdom and Ireland. I think we're just going to move some armies around. So... I need to... You need to not have an army in Belarus. So I think... Oh, can I stop you? You 
you can't stop me because, oh, because the first army will move in and knock my dominance down. Yeah. Oh, and also, I can't get the armies in there. Yeah, I mean, you it's hard. Like, it would be yeah. very expensive. You'd have to come in through this way. But even then... Oh, yeah, so I can move all the way you over. Could. So the, right. Yeah. yeah. First one would go in and knock you down to five. Second one would go in and it would be an army. Yeah. You could then now, move one army in and get your my army, army and then you'd still... Yeah. Now, the, the only way that you'd hmm. be able to stop me, and you don't know what I have. No. I have... I have cards that don't allow me to move armies. Right. So it's possible that I have those, but you, I mean, there are plenty of cards with a low initiative to allow you to move armies. Yeah. I'm just I'm just rethinking that decision about whether I want you to not spend money or not because actually sure. you've got you've got ones next door. Yeah. So I, I yeah, if it's all right, I'll take that back. Sure, of course. Yeah, you can just move in for free. Okay, it's yep. a bit of a risk, but we'll we'll try it. Um, now I've still got control of the Baltic, so uh, as NATO, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, no, the EU has got control of the Baltic. Right, okay. Uh, so I don't have the free movement, so it's just going to be uh, one, so that's free, and then one, two, three. Okay, so, so you're going to knock me to five. It's going to cost me three money. Yeah, my army goes, and you go down to five. Okay, and then the second one goes free, and then one, two, three. Massively expensive. Yeah. But so we'll see what happens. I, I was hoping you wouldn't do that, but I was ready for it. So I'll move okay. one in and remove it, and then I'll move one in. To push so you goal. do have two cards that... Uh, I do. Yeah, that's right. Azerbaijan and Belarus or Ukraine both, which let me move armies. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we score, and you get two points. Yeah. And right. I do not get the four. Right. Okay. So we are on turn nineteen. Penultimate turn. Let's draw two cards. Right. Interesting. Very interesting. Moldova. This one's not going to. Moldova's. You've already got dominance in Moldova, aren't I you? I do. Wow. Okay. Um, when do you, if you don't mind me asking, sure. when on your uh, US sanctions card when do you play it do you play it before initiative or do you play uh, it? it just says it's an action and it's if you are going first if you're going first you have if to win initiative first. yeah got it okay that's a good card mm. right So that's not going to work. Um, I seem to have five cards in hand. <laughs> I should not have five cards in hand. Do you want to pick a number from one to five? Uh, three. Okay, so I'm going to lose that one. Not quite sure how I got five cards in hand. Um, Okay, got my cards. Uh, let's see, I have 12. Uh, sorry, you first. Yeah, okay. I don't have 12. I've got six. All right, let's move. 
an army into Poland and increase to I'll have, if you don't mind move me up to dominance there. Yep. Six. Yep. Well, you might do that. Which means I can't. Because I'd have to move one army in there to get rid of your army, then another army in there to get rid of your dominance, and then increase it. So, yeah, so that's going to be tricky. But it's four points, <laughs> yeah. which is pretty huge. Um, so, yeah, I think... I think let's do it. Let's let's use both of these. Can I, can I use Western Balkans for NATO? I can't. Stupid Western Balkans card. Um, so I am going to use it. Uh, you can now add one influence to Western Balkans. Well, it, it's plus one. Yeah, right. And so this is one of those situations. I don't have any in there. I could choose to place influence if I wanted, but it would cost right. me two. So I'm not going to do that. Right. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to use that to get two influence. Uh, oh, no. No, there isn't anywhere. You can oh. increase your influence in Hungary. I don't know how, how relevant that is. Yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah, go on. Probably didn't want to play that card. Norway is going to be used to move an army. Um, and we are going to move this one in. Okay. So I'm going to go through to that one. Okay. Last turn. Last turn of the game. Okay. Okay, right. Hmm. Okay. All right, hold on. Um Thanks to everybody that's been watching for the last couple of hours. We are now on the last turn. All right, 11. 4. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is tough. I didn't know if you're going to play the, the sanctions yeah. card or not, right? And so um, I have to stop you, which means you you have to come in here and knock me down with one action, yep. and then you would raise it with a second. So yep. that's how you would get there, mm -hmm. barring any advantage cards or whatever. Um, I can stop that by moving an army in. Yeah. So I have to do that. So... I think, let's see if I can pull this off. One, two, three would cost two money. Oh, I'm one money short of doing what I want to do here. Um, okay, then I will spend, um, it'll go one, two, three three for two money right and then i'm going to increase my influence in belarus to six yep. you don't mind yeah that's an extra point isn't it yeah and that's it for me okay well i've got two army movement cards uh and it's ukraine which i can play the nato effect and hungary which i can play the nato effect um so i could move an army into ukraine and that would stop you getting a point from it yep uh, and then I could move another army into Belarus. Yep, exactly. Stop you getting a point from that. And I think that's probably my best move. I think so. Yep. Yeah. So there are reactions to this. Uh, you can build an army in Moscow <laughs> if you want <laughs> to. Well, I don't even have the money to do it. Right. Okay. So, yeah. So that moves into there and knocks that down to five. Yeah. Um, and then. Oh, where do you we have go the from? money to do it? Find a place to get there with. I've got three money. 
Oh, so okay. I think I can go from Turkey. So first movement is free. One, two. There you go. Yep. Good call. Money and I doubt we'll need the tiebreaker, but money. money money is a tiebreaker. Okay, so. right. All right, so these didn't go. Oh, no, on money as well. <laughs> you got two victory points. Yay. Yep. <clears throat> you got, you're up to 11. I think you're going right. to pull this off. And, and okay. Pull it. Oh, you do have advantage cards left. I do. I have one advantage card left. So we're tied. We are tied. I do not have any. Okay. So I've got three dominance. Yep. And you have one, two, three, four, five. So you win, sir. Seventeen to fifteen. Seventeen to fifteen. There you go. Nice comeback. Well, and, and look what look what did it was those two army movements. Yeah, it, it, it was really interesting because I was getting my points mainly from dominating the areas, and I didn't do that well on the scoring cards. Right. Yeah. For sure. And I definitely yeah. got you know more of mine obviously through the through the headlines. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I I loved it. I'll tell you the biggest problem with this game. I'll be honest with you. I play a number of computer games where you you know you you conquer a world or whatever. I'm looking at this image of this globe here, and I keep wanting to hold down the middle mouse button and scroll it to the right to rotate the globe around. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can just about see another continent there if I can just scroll it around. Yeah, I'm, I I can see the influence in your other games in this yeah obviously there's the deck building the card part um now you you've got a, a, an interest in this time in history anyway haven't you yeah i do i mean just my for my job uh i interact with this a lot but i my uh my one of my masters is in uh the thesis i wrote for it was regime stability in azerbaijan right so like right the caucasus the eastern europe all of that i have a, a both an educational interest in and also just my work yeah in this area yeah, yeah. so presumably yep. uh you know you and chris worked together and you thought ah we're going to do a game set in this particular period and then the mechanisms came afterwards yeah so basically what happened is i had the i had the concept and some of the original core ideas like you know conceptually yeah uh, and then i went to chris and then he he made it a good game so. right okay <laughs> yeah but no i mean he yeah seriously there, there's some there's some elements of the game that are absolutely brilliant like the the way initiative works and all of that tension yep. and i think that was one of the very first things that chris added to the game right so yeah what's interesting about it is that you don't reveal your cards right right yeah, and in other games of... i've yeah in other games i've played that are similar to this you kind of you, you reveal your cards and then you see the initiative values but you always then see what your opponent might do and in this one it's like oh no 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 my initiative value is seven. Off you go. You try and work out what cards I've got. <laughs> so. right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you—it's—it's it's good that you did get to feel the pain of of Europe, right? Of oh, dealing yeah. with all the EU investment and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the thing that I particularly liked uh, about it is the way that the rules all seem to fit. So the fact that you said once an army is in a place, the other player can't increase their dominance, but if the army's not there. They can have dominance but then if the army moves in it knocks it down to six whilst that might appear that oh yeah more rules more rules more rules it all fits it all makes sense right yeah yeah hopefully like i mean the, the rules are fairly abstract but hopefully thematically it comes together right people yeah, like yeah there's no example of legitimate military presence in a place like russia doesn't have an army sitting in you know poland yeah. while we have nato ties to them right so right um yeah so yeah. I'm and the other thing that I liked uh, as well from a historical context is, and again, this is coming from somebody who doesn't really know much about it, but these reaction cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so for sure. Pr presumably this Ukraine card, the ability that that has is a thematic ability. Absolutely. Yeah, for right, sure. 100%. Okay. If somebody if somebody's really into this period, um, a couple of things that that you can get that are just clear clear like every oh, one of on these, these headline cards yeah uh it talks you know if you read the bottom here right like it talks about right. what's going on behind the scenes and then clearly these contested cards each one of them has a thematic yeah. element to it that's clearly rooted in world events yeah yeah cool right well there we go and the software didn't crash 
Excellent. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Considering all the problems we had five minutes before we went live, I think this is a this is a miracle. So I'm going to go downstairs, celebrate and have a Jaffa cake. Um, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, that was great. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, and as I say, if you're interested in the game, you can get this game at the moment in uh, in the EU. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> but in America, there's some distribution problems due to COVID-19. But once they're sorted out, yeah, you, you can pick this game up. That's everything, I think, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, I just yeah, wanted thanks. to say, and I should have said this at the start, that this wasn't a sponsored stream in any way. In fact, I don't even know if Phalanx uh, know that I'm doing this video for them. But um, yeah, this video and a lot of the other content that I'm making at the moment is purely funded through my Patreon campaign. So thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters for basically paying me to take time off work to do these kind of things. Um, I wanted to do it anyway, because as I mentioned at the start, I, I have an interest in this game from when I first saw it. So I'm really glad that I, uh, I, I took the afternoon off to, to learn it. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in helping support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. Um, and yeah, thank you very much, David, again for joining me. And I will speak yep. to you later on. Thanks. Right. Cheers all. Take care. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppers 